What's going on everybody? My name is Cloudy and welcome back to a Call of Duty Warzone video. Now today is going to be more of a settings and deep dive into my gear as opposed to actual gameplay and stuff. But I think this video is going to help you if you are having the same issues I have. So since I started playing Call of Duty uh, probably like a month ago or so, I've been struggling between having good quality gameplay and settings like video settings or having good recording settings and every time I would record I would lag or anytime I would um, have good game quality then my recording would suffer and I can never find the balance but I, I think I finally figured it out so I'm gonna go ahead and run you through my personal setup of settings and software and all that stuff and hopefully this will help you if you are having any issues regarding that so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and show you my in-game settings on Call of Duty. So hop on there. Now just so you know, I do play on PC, so just take that how you will. So go to options. We're going to go to graphics. Now the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is that you're on full screen. If you're playing um, on PC, I highly recommend full screen. It just gives you, I think, better overall quality. It will definitely give you the ability to have your maximum, your screen refresh rate, which for me is 144 hertz, which is really nice okay next the render resolution I keep that at 100 and that just keeps it at my monitors resolution so it, it'll look as good as possible all right um, for advanced I just keep that as that display resolution for aspect ratio I keep it on automatic sync uh, v-sync disabled frame rate limit unlimited and feel free to pause it at any time if, if I'm going too fast or anything. Uh, I'm just going to try to make it as quick as possible so you're not wasting time so you can get back into the game. Next, NVIDIA highlights. This one's on you. Uh, I normally just record in OBS so I don't really need highlights. So I disable that. Uh, for my display gamma, I have it at 2.2 sRGB. For texture resolution, I have it at normal. For texture filter, I have it at normal. Particle quality high. Bullet and impact and sprays enabled, tessellation all. Moving on to shadow and lighting. For the shadow map resolution, I have it at low. For the cache spots shadows, I have it disabled. For cache sun shadows, disabled. Particle lighting, low. Direct ray tracing, I don't have ray tracing, so I have it off. The ambient occlusion is disabled, and then the uh, SSR is disabled as well. Moving on to the post-processing effects, for anti-aliasing I have SMAA 1X, for depth of field I have disabled, for filmic strength I have it at 1, world motion blur I have it disabled. I like the way it looks, it's just it's a slight, I think, disadvantage when it comes to gaming, uh, but it looks really cool I think. Uh, weapon motion blur I have it disabled, and film grain I have on 0. So those are all of my settings for the end game. Okay, so that is all the settings for the Call of Duty aspect side of things. Now, I record using OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's completely free. Uh, if you're interested, I can leave a link to download it in the description below. So check there. Also, look there to see what kind of PC I'm running because it might vary from yours. It might be better, might be worse. You kind of got to judge it yourself. But now that we're in OBS, um, I'm going to go and show you my record settings. All right, so you're gonna go up to uh, actually in the bottom right settings. Um, let's go ahead and start with uh, output. So go to output, go to recording. I have mine on advanced. If you want to switch to simple, you can. Might be easier to understand. But if you're trying to copy my exact settings, this is what I do. So output, recording, output mode, advanced. All right, type standard recording path. That's just where you want your video to record to, like what folder. So customize that to your liking for the recording format I keep it at mp4 for the audio tracks I normally have the first two checked the first box is for the game recording and the second box is for my audio recording so I, I can record both but if I go to edit and I don't want my audio in the video clip I can take it out and separate it and all that but if you're very new to this uh, just leave it on one no problems for the encoder now I have a GTX 1080 so I can use the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. If you also have an NVIDIA graphics card, I recommend doing this option. 
there are other ones so if you don't have nvidia you know try not using it but if you do have nvidia definitely use the nvidia nvink h.264 new for the rescale output now this is where i think my quality kind of picks back up i might be able to record in 1920 by 1080 but just to keep it all as smooth as possible i'm actually downscaling down to 720 so i'm playing in full hd i'm dropping it down to regular hd i don't think there's a huge loss of quality because it still looks really good but you can experiment with that how you like for me personally i rescale my output to 1280 by 720. for custom muxer settings i just leave it empty uh, moving down for the rate control i have mine at cqp with the cq level at 15. the way I, I understand it is the lower the number the better the quality but also the larger the file size and then the lower or the higher the number the lower the quality 15 is a normally a uh, pretty good point at least for me i found no lagging no stuttering no disconnections and no quality to my gaming next one is the keyframe interval i have it set to two for preset i have it at max quality if i if you have that and you're still experiencing issues try bringing it down to quality or performance or max performance and just mess around with it for profile i have it on high and then i have look ahead tabbed enabled as well as the cycle visual tuning enabled for gpu i have it at zero and for maximum b frames i have it set to two uh, the last thing you're going to need to do is look on the left side for video tally and for here the base canvas is going to be the resolution of your monitor that you're playing on for me it's 1920 by 1080 and again i'm outputting the final product to a 1280 by 720 so it just looks pretty much the same I don't really notice the difference in it and it looks good and it performs well for the downscale filter I have mine set to lands coast or whatever uh, it sharpens scaling 36 samples and for my common FPS values I have it set to 60 so that is all of my settings um, again check the description to find out what kind of system I'm running but this is the best settings that I've come to find out about I've tried other settings, I've tried increasing and decreasing different things, but for me personally, these are the best settings for maximum gaming quality, as well as the best recording quality that I can get without overloading my system and crashing or having any kind of you know performance issues. So that's gonna be it for the video. Um, I'm actually playing a lot of Warzone and stuff, so I'm actually gonna make some other Call of Duty related videos such as best class setups and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. Be on the lookout for those videos. Um, if you found this video helpful at all, please leave it a like and a comment, and I will do my best to get back to each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.